everybody, back here again. It's our vlog day, and today is Thursday the 18th, and today was a lovely day outside. Windy, windy, and windy. Oh my god, it was just so windy. It had like 18 mile an hour gusts and stuff. It was absolutely ridiculous. But overall, the day was very, very nice, and I'm very happy with the whole uh, way the day went down. So I got this morning um, super early, so I could um, get up and get the puppy. Got him in the house, um, got him outside, played with him for a little while to kind of wear him out and kind of let him know it's time to settle back down. So I was like, okay, cool. Got him back in, headed into the bedroom to try and uh, lay down with my wife a little bit more to see if what it is and did not get back to sleep. Um, yeah, she was, she's not sleeping great either. So it's one of those things we kind of tossed and turned around a little bit, did not make a difference and just said, hell, it got up and started doing some stuff. Um, not anything really major. Didn't really get much accomplished today. It just, I don't know, some days you look back and you're like, what the hell did I even do all day? Then you realize, like, oh, I did do some stuff, but it is what it is. Played out the dog puppy quite a bit. Um, he was out, he decided to dig a lot of holes, so I did a lot of yard work, backfilling holes, and, you know, trying to train him and teach him what he is and isn't supposed to be doing, um, to all the fun that comes with that. Played with my dog, end up um, having a customer reach out for a dog meet and greet that uh, is coming up, and I guess the dog has some stomach issues it kicked into and it's having severe diarrhea on a regular basis, including um, throughout the night. He's gone at least once, often twice a night right now. And trying to decide if I want to watch a dog that I have to get up twice a night and let the dog out because I'm already losing so much sleep with this damn puppy. Add that onto it as well. It's going to be for a fun, um, I think five days, whatever. It's, yeah, it should be fun. So we'll see. Uh, went ahead, uh, chatted back and forth with her on text and basically said, hey, uh, she's out of town, so she couldn't like come to a meet and greet in person. But was gonna try and do like a FaceTime or a Zoom or whatever kind of thing. And I always to get a hold of her later this afternoon. So I went ahead and um, worked in the yard. So like I said, I filled a bunch of holes and stuff, messed with this and that. Um, Repotted some plants that I'm trying to do some starts of. Got some cactus that I'm trying to move. Got a couple succulents I'm trying to start. And then um, had some like the airplane plants and other stuff that I had that I let go too long actually and root up too much in the um, glass and I had a hard time getting the roots apart even without doing a bunch of damage to them so was able to luckily um, get it figured out and all the fun that comes with it but got that done got them potted up and stuff um, Karen got home from work actually get the, the puppy back Karen got home from work after I got my run get my shower and stuff also then uh, get a puppy back uh, Karen got back home uh, we hung out a little bit here and there ended up um, I'd put in a um, baked blackened chicken baked ziti or some crap frozen meal uh, stuck that in the oven chucked in some um, bread sticks as well and it said um, like three to four minutes do not um, overcook it'll dry them out real bad so I left them in there for four minutes and thought hey no big deal came out and they were still a little doughy and cold like they didn't even cook through all the way I was like what the hell happened there like this makes no sense so they weren't bad they're fully cooked and they're already you know those bridges reheating on basically all you're doing but so I went ahead and said hell that um, we ended up eating them because it wasn't worth trying to re you know, fire the oven back up and all that stuff. But I realized they weren't cooked or charred up or, I guess, browned up well enough. So I went ahead and said hell with that. Um, had a decent enough meal. Ended up watching um, another episode of Weeds like we do almost virtually every night. And then trying to find a new like, kind of a comedy sitcom thing. Um, ended up finding a new one about a um, high school senior, I believe he is young boy with um, autism and he's basically decided he wants to try and date so he's not going to be going through the process of trying to date people and stuff and how all that comes next he's just such a literal person and they're they set him up like an online dating profile and it's just so far it's been pretty funny i'm i'm a big fan of people that are um the show looked out the people on the spectrum i've worked with uh, had clients and customers that were on the spectrum that came in and i'm a very literal person myself so it makes it you know i can understand exactly where they're coming from when he's talking about the fact that how his favorite animal is a penguin and he's just obsessed with penguins and stuff and the sister tells him, you know, don't talk to her about penguins. He goes, but what if she likes penguins? You know, and just like, yeah, but what if she does like penguins? You know, because then this would be perfect. You guys could just talk about penguins all day. But most people think no girl's going to want to talk to a guy that likes penguins. And he put it down. He's a fan of like board games and, you know, penguins and stuff. And she put down on the app that he's a fan of sports. And I'm like, okay, great. We're starting off any type of relationship you have with a lie. So if she's also into sports or wants to watch, you know, wants to date a guy who's into sports, then this is going to go miserably for you. So 
but I'm much more that honest type person. Tell them exactly what it is, and if they can't handle it, then you don't get your heart broke when they um, screw off when they realize that you're not who they thought you were because you're putting on a false front the whole damn time. So, but hey, everybody's got a little different way of handling things. So far, the show is pretty good. We're pretty excited to find it. I think it something starts with an A. I don't even remember what it does now. But I went ahead and chilled out with it. Um, got done there, played a, uh, a couple games of pinball with my wife. We ended up both winning. We ended up even right there. I think I'm still ahead by two overall on our race to 100. But we are very close to each other at the moment. So on the games of what it is. So went ahead, um, headed outside, enjoyed myself a nice cigar in the evening. Wind blowing. It didn't get chilly, but it was on that verge of being chilly. So. Finally got back, um, headed inside. I got him put away. It was like I said, things were blowing around. Stuff was just blowing all the yard all day today. So it was definitely, you know, kind of an interesting time there. But got inside, uh, basically uh, had myself a piece of cake that was probably about ready to be thrown away because it's pretty much, you know, it's getting older and it's getting a little bit drier on the edges and stuff. So it's definitely not as good as it could be. So I went ahead and uh, basically wrapped it up, watched a little bit of TV with my wife there. And it's a show called Marriage. It's called Marriage on Hulu, I believe it is. That's a pretty funny little show. Kind of an interesting concept on the take of relationships and a lot of, you know, kind of just dumb sitcom humor. But it's got Paul Reiser in it and a couple other people that we like a lot as actors. And when you like people as actors, then it makes it easier to watch their shows. So, anyway, that's all i got for right now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.